Ngayon naman ay pag-aaralan natin ang tungkol sa division of monomials. Our learning objective for today is divide monomials. In dividing monomials, we divide the numerical coefficient to get the numerical coefficient of the quotient. Then to get the literal coefficient, we apply the laws of exponents. Sa so division ng monomials, ito ay kabaliktaran ng multiplication ng monomials. Wherein sa multiplication ng monomials, ang mga exponents or powers ay ina-add natin. Okay? If they have the same basis. Sa so division ng monomials, ay sinusubtract naman natin ang kanilang mga powers or exponents following the laws of exponents. So let us have now the following example. If we have x to the fifth power divided by x to the third power. So since ang numerical coefficient nila pareho ay 1, we don't need to write it anymore. It is understand the 1 ang kanilang numerical coefficient. So we're just going to focus on the literal coefficient. So just copy the base x, subtract the exponents, 5 minus 3 is equal to x raised to the second power. Okay? Then, so this is now the answer. So another, if we have x to the fourth power divided by x to the fourth power. So copy the base, subtract the exponents 4 minus 4 is equal to x to the zero power. I dice a zero ang kanyang exponent. This is already equal to 1 because in the law of exponents, so any number raised to the zero power is always equal to 1. So, this is now the answer. Then, if we have x cubed divided by x to the fourth power. So, we have now subtract x 3 minus 4. We have x to the negative 1. At dahil sa negative, ang exponent dito ni x ay kukunin natin ang kanyang reciprocal. Any variable or any number, ang denominator ay laging 1. Okay? So, therefore, kunin natin ang kanyang reciprocal. So, itong na ngayon si 1 na denominator, ang siya na ngayon magiging numerator. At itong si x to the negative 1, ang siya na ngayon magiging denominator, but then having the positive integer, positive exponent. So, we have now 1 over x. Then, we have now 10 x to the fourth divided by 2x. Again, let us divide first the numerical coefficient, 10 divided by 2, which is 5. Then, for the literal coefficient, copy 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. So, we have now 5x to the third power. Then, if we have 4x to the sixth divided by 2x to the sixth power, Again, let us divide first the numerical coefficient. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. Copy the variable x. 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. Again, applying the laws of exponent, any number raised to the 0 power is always equal to 1. So, we have now 2. Multiply natin sa equivalent x to the 0, which is 1. So, we have 2 times 1 is equal to 2. So, the answer is 2. Another example, if we have 10x to the third power divided by 5x to the sixth power. So, again, divide the numerical coefficient. 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. Copy. Copy the literal coefficient, the variable x. Subtract the exponents, 3 minus 6. So, we have now 2x raised to the negative 3. As you can see, negative na naman ang kanyang exponent. So, we're going to get now the reciprocal or ibababa na lang natin itong si x to the negative 3. Since siya ay nasa numerator, dadali na lang natin siya sa denominator for easy competition. So, we have now retain natin si 2. Since sa may exponent niya is positive, so retain siya sa numerator. And then si x to the negative 3, bring it down to the denominator. And then changing now the... 
and then making now the sign the exponent of x from negative 3 into a positive 3. So we have now 2 divided by x to the third power. Okay, next, if we have 15 x squared y to the sixth power all over 5 x to the third power and then y. Okay, again, divide 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. For the easy uh, computation or solving ng, or dividing ng monomials, for, ng monomials when it comes now to their literal coefficients, let us now take a look now kung na yung, yung mga literal coefficients na kung saan ang tignan natin yung kanilang mga exponents or powers. Okay? So, tignan natin yung mga variables na may exponents na mas mataas. Kung sino yung mas, may mas mataas na exponents or powers, doon natin siya ilalagay ang kanyang variable. So, for example, we have x, in this case, sa x, ang exponent ni x na mas mataas ay 3 ay nasa denominator. So, doon natin isusulat si x. Then, Subtracting now the exponents 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. Then for y, since na, since na nasa numerator, yung exponent ni y na mas malaki, which is 6, ay dun natin lang, ilalagay din lang si y. Then subtracting the exponents, 6 minus 1 is equal to 5. So we have now 3 y to the fifth divided by x. Okay. Next one, if we have 3a, to the third power, b to the fourth power, and c all over sa so 9, and then a, b to the fifth power, and then c to the sixth power. Okay. Hindi natin pwedeng i-divide ng directa si 3 at 9. Dahil sa ang magiging quotient niya ay hindi na whole number. So, we're going to get now the greatest common factor ni 3 at 9, yung number na pwedeng i-divide sa kanilang dalawa, which is 3. So, if we're going to divide, 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. Now, let us now take a look with the literal, to the literal coefficient, si A. Then, since na yung exponent ni A na mas mataas ay nasa numerator, ay doon lang natin siya ilalagay din sa numerator. Subtract the exponents 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. Again, ang exponent dito ni A ay 1 which is an invisible exponent. Then for B, tignan natin kung nasa inyo mas mataas sa exponent ni B nandito sa denominator which is sa denominator which is B to the P power. So gagawin natin ay dito lang din natin ilalagay si B sa denominator. And then, subtract the exponents. 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. And then, for the variable C, since ang exponent ni C na mas mataas ay nandito sa denominator, so dito rin natin sa denominator isusulat si C. So, we have C. Subtracting the exponent 6 minus 1 is equal to 5. So, dahil sa ang numerical coefficient dito ni A ay 1, we don't need to write it anymore. So, for our final answer, we can have a squared, then 3b, c to the fifth power. Okay, next one, number 9. If we have 16a to the third power, p to the fourth power, divided by 4a to the negative 2, then b to the negative 3. Okay. So, let us first divide the numerical coefficient. 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4. Gawa na tayo ng fraction bar. Then, let us now take a look now to the exponents ng literal coefficients. So, let us have now a. As you can see, a to the third power ay nandito siya sa taas, is positive. Then, a to the negative 2, then nandito siya sa denominator. For the easy solving or the dividing ng monomial, so what we're going to do is, 
since na itong si a to the negative 2 ay negative, iaakyat natin siya at dadalin natin siya dito sa tabi ni a to the third power. At gagawin natin siyang positive. So, we have now a to the third power. Iaakyat lang natin si a. Multiply natin dito kay a cubed. Then, siya na ngayon ay positive. Then, with regards now to b, since si b to the fourth ay positive, so hindi natin siya gagalawin. Just remain as is kung nasaan din ng pwesto niya. So, we have b to the fourth power. But then, itong si b naman to the negative 3, since na ang kanyang uh, exponent ay negative, then gagawin lang natin ay iaakyat natin siya papunta dito sa numerator na katabi ni B. Making it a positive exponent. Okay, so we have now 4, parehas ang base, copy, add exponents 3 plus 2 is 5. Then, copy the base B, parehas ang expo add exponents 4 plus 3 is 7. So we have now 4 a to the 5th, b to the 7th power. And for our last example, if we have 4 a to the negative 4 and then b to the negative 3 divided by 2 a to the negative 5 and then b to the negative 4. Okay, so anong gagawin natin dito? First, divide natin muna ang kanilang numerical coefficients. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. Okay. Now, take a look now with the exponents or powers ng kanilang mga literal coefficients. So, a to the negative 4 and a to the negative 5. So, what we are going to do is pagbabalik na rin lang natin ang kanilang pwesto. Kung si a to the negative 4 ay nasa numerator, ay dadali natin siya sa baba, sa denominator. And then, magig and then make it a positive exponent. At kung si a to the negative 5 ay nasa denominator, ay iaakit natin siya. Gagawin, dadali natin siya, uh, gagawin natin siya as a numerator, and then, uh, making the negative na exponent into a positive exponent. Papapalitin lang natin ang kanilang pwesto and then magiging positive na ang kanilang exponent. So, we have a, a to the negative 5, iyak sa taas, then gawing positive. Then, a to the negative 4, ibaba, gawin siyang positive. The same thing with b. Si b to the negative 4, iyakit natin, then, mag, then gagawin natin positive ang exponent. Si b to the negative 3 ay dadali natin sa baba at gagawin natin positive exponent. So, we have now b to the negative 4, akit natin sa taas, then giging positive na siya. Si b to the negative 3, ibaba natin, then make it is a positive. So, we have now 2, then a, 5 minus 4 is 1, then b, 4 minus 3 is 1. So, therefore, we have now 2a b as the final answer.